This is part five in our series of lectures on infinite sets. And in this short lecture, we'll show that any infinite subset of any denumerable set is denumerable. Recall that in the last lecture, we showed that any infinite subset of the natural numbers is necessarily denumerable. In other words, it has exactly the same size as the entire set of natural numbers. Well, the following exercise, in fact, it's just simply the exercise that I'm saying, uh, that I'm writing in the title, um, says that if we replace this n by any denumerable set, then the same result is true. Here's the statement. If a is any infinite subset of a denumerable set, then a is itself denumerable. So, um, this one here that we proved in the last lecture uh, is just a special case of this theorem where v is equal to n. Well, I'm just going to leave it for you as an exercise uh, to do. But I will um, make a few comments about the proof, and I think after that you'll find it quite easy, an, an easy exercise for you to write up. First off, why is it the case that there exists a bijection f from b into n? So maybe it has something to do with this. And the second comment is, uh, we have that our set A is a subset of B, and therefore it makes sense for us to calculate the image F of A. And F of A is going to be a certain subset of the set of natural numbers. Now, why is it the case that A and F of A have exactly the same cardinality? That's sort of the key to this. Um, it's not difficult to decide, but uh, just convince yourself why it's the case that A and F of A have the same cardinality. And once you realize that, well now f of a is a subset of the natural numbers. Since it has the same cardinality as a, then it must be infinite. So now we can just simply apply this result here to deduce that f of a is necessarily denumerable. And then you just um, relate f of a back to a to deduce that a must be denumerable. So that's the idea. Um, but why don't you write it up for yourself just as an exercise to convince yourself. Now certainly, um, all of the results that I've been writing down um, in the last several lectures are results that you should also be able to quote. You should know this result. Um, you should be able to quote this result and be able to use it in, um, in an exercise if it's appropriate to do so. So you should know that any infinite subset of the enumerable set B is necessarily denumerable. 